YouTube. Okay, I'm in a super big hurry right now. I've gotta be at work in like 15 minutes, but it's okay, it's right down the road. But I just got ready for work. It is Friday, May 4th, and on Fridays we get to wear our red nose t-shirts for um, and blue jeans for work today. But I wanna show you really quick what I was packing for work because obviously I can't film while I'm at the pharmacy. So really fast, what I'm taking is a Power Crunch bar as a mid-morning snack. Um, for my actual lunch, I've got four ounces of some ground sirloin beef in here, 85 grams of just shredded lettuce, and then two tablespoons of just plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Sprinkle some salt in there. It's kind of like a faux sour cream. I just mixed it all together after I heat up in the microwave, and it is delicious. And then for my pre-workout, um, I'll be eating just two caramel rice cakes. Um, I'm just taking the whole pack here because it's small enough just to pack in my lunch box. And then, of course, I've got uh, my pre-workout stuff and powder already here in my shaker. My extra vitamins that I take to work. And I'm going to pack it all in my lunch box, which I've got to do right now. Okay, so I've got to head out the door, go to work. I work 8 to 4 today, and then I'm going straight to the gym. And so when I get off work, I'll see y'all at the gym for a shoulder and glute day. Okay, so to start off today's workout, I started with a dumbbell standing press. So I usually always warm up with three to four sets of just warm up weights and reps. And then I go into a working set here of, um, I did a set of 10 reps, then six reps, then four reps, and then a drop set of eight. Um, just really using my core to stabilize myself. I'm trying to bring my elbows a little bit in front of me so I'm not all the way out to the side to help protect my shoulder. Then we jumped right into some side lateral dumbbell raises. Um, again, lots of sets of this. I think 20, then 15, then 10. And then here I'm showing an actual drop set because I get a lot of questions of what a drop set is. So basically a drop set is starting with a higher rep and a higher weight. So here I did, um, I think, 10 reps of a weight at 15. And then I dropped a weight here down to 10 pounds and did 10 more reps. So pumping out 10 reps here. And then as soon as I finish this set, I am going to drop the weight. We're going to go down to five pounds, because that's the least amount of weight we have over here. Then we're going to go right into 10 reps right away. So minimal rest, it's basically starting with a higher weight and a higher rep and just dropping the weight down and um, usually keeping the same amount of reps, just kind of depending on drop set. There's different ways you can do drop set, but that's just a prime example of how to do one. Then I went into a reverse cable fly or face pulls. I did this sitting down. I do it in multiple different ways, whether it's standing up, whether I'm pulling like at chest level or I'm pour, pulling more towards like my face or my um, forehead. I like to do the sitting down um, face pulls just because it kind of helps really just isolate only using your rear delts instead of using your body as like the momentum to pull the weight back. So sometimes I just like to do this, just changes up, adds variety in there really no high advantage or not to doing it standing up or sitting down. So this is just a variation of a face pull. They had four sets of 12 here. Then I went into seated dumbbell front raises, um, starting with 15 reps, then I did 12 reps, then I did 10, and then I dropped the weight. Um, really trying not to swing and use momentum here, but I'm really bad about doing that. But anyways, just really trying to focus on only raising the weight and not using your momentum. Then jumped right into some barbell hip thrusts. I did sets of four, four sets of 15, just 135. Again, I harp on this all the time. You don't have to load the weight as much as you can. I can, I can, I can hip thrust um, 225 easily. Um, I think actually 275 is the most I've done, but I like to lower the weight and just really concentrate on my form. Like my glutes are on fire. It feels like someone is taking a knife and stabbing in each butt cheek. It hurts so bad and my legs start shaking towards the end. So I really just focus on just, you know, keeping my back straight, squeezing the glutes at the top of the movement and just really concentrating on activating my glutes for this exercise and trying not to use my lower back or my thighs for this. Um, and then jumped into single leg extensions. I've been doing a lot of isolated um, quad movements just because my quads are super dominant. Um, so I'm really just trying to focus on having symmetry on both of my quads. So I do a lot of, particularly with um, leg extensions, I'm doing single legs. So I did four sets of 20 on each side. And then for the last exercise movement, I did some reverse hack squats, really focusing on the hamstring and glute tie-in here. 
I did four sets of 12 um, at a really lightweight for me, just 45 pounds on each side. I just really focus on the stretch and squeezing at the top of the movement. And by the end of this workout, my glutes and hamstrings were on fire. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed the workout and see you in a little bit. Okay, finished with the workout and I went ahead and skipped cardio at the gym because it is 88 degrees outside and I know Slater Raider would love to go for a 40 minute steady state cardio walk. I'm gonna just go ahead and do my cardio and then I'll make something to eat after that because that'll like complete my whole workout for the day. So tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, it's Saturday Cinco de Mayo and a bunch of us have planned to go to Atlanta, Georgia for the Braves game. The Braves play the um, San Francisco Giants and we are going up there to tailgate and we're having us a little Cinco de Mayo themed tailgate so we have a whole bunch of food and planning that we've got to do in less than 24 hours because boys will be boys and they will wait till last minute to plan things but Cody is at work so he is leaving me in charge of a lot of things to do this afternoon so my plate is full and I told him I was like I'm not skipping a workout because I'm already having to skip tomorrow's workout on Saturday because we're going to the game but yeah so I'm gonna go home hurry up and do my cardio go run some errands tonight and yeah I don't know we'll see just what the night brings us I'm home, I'm having to rehydrate. <sighs> Don't want to ask if Slater wants to go for a W-A-L-K. Okay, come here, Slate. Hey, Slate, come here. Hey, hey, I gotta ask you something. I gotta ask you something. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you? Do you want to go for a walk? Where's your collar? Go get your collar. Okay, okay, go get your collar. Go get your collar and leash. Okay, we're gonna go for a walk. Oh, so excited. Oh, are you excited? Are you excited? Oh, okay. I'm excited too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, me and Slater are back from our walk. We just did a quick little 30, 35 minutes steady state cardio walk. So now I am going to go ahead and make me some dinner. So what I've done is I've put four ounces of that shredded crock pot chicken that I made Sunday night four ounces of chicken, and then two ounces of the fajita veggies that I cooked up. And then here on a paper plate, I have one tortilla and then one ounce of some reduced fat cheese. And the tortilla that I'm using is La Tortilla Factory brand. I got this from Kroger, um, never really heard of the brand, but it has really good macros on it. Uh, for one tortilla is two grams of fat, 14 carb, and five protein, so just one tortilla. And then I also am using the Kroger Mexican style blend, um, finely shredded cheese. It's got Monterey, Jack, cheddar, Colby, and mozzarella. So it's reduced fat. So for one serving, which is one ounce or about a fourth of a cup, five grams of fat, less than one carb, and seven protein. So basically just some straight up protein, a little bit of fat on there. And so what I'm gonna do is dump the chicken and fajita mixture onto the tortilla. And then I'm actually gonna put it in the waffle maker, which I actually posted this on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago. It's a waffle quesadilla. And so many people like freaked out on my Instagram, like, oh my gosh, I need the recipe, that's so cool. There's nothing special about it. It's literally just a different way to heat up the quesadilla. All it does is it crisp up the quesadilla and melt the cheese and I don't know, it's just kind of like a cool, fun idea. And it's really quick too, so my waffle maker is ready to go. I'm gonna put together my fajita and toast it up. Look at this beautiful deliciousness. Oh my goodness. It's so good. So the macros for this is 18 carb, 11 fat, and 48 protein. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to go run up all of Cody's errands that he has put on me to do for tonight, but I wanted to show y'all what I made. So I always have a sweet tooth, but the parts during the day where I have like the highest like sweet tooth is usually right after a workout or like right before I go to bed. So since I'm having to go and run a bunch of errands, I feel like I have like a craving for something sweet. So to keep me from eating all the candy in the cabinet, I made me a chai latte. This is the Oregon chai that I get from Kroger. It's the sugar-free kind. So for half a cup, it's zero fat, one gram of carb, and zero protein. So I went ahead and had a full cup of this, which is 240 milliliters. Um, put it in my Dr. K cup, but I lost the R, so it's just D, DK, like, don't know. But um, I put a bunch of ice cubes in here, 20, 240 milliliters of this organ. 
chai sugar free. Um, a little splash of the Torani, Torani, I don't know, sugar free vanilla syrup and a little bit of almond milk and I put some ice in there so it's like an iced chai tea latte and it's super sweet. And then I'm ready to go run all these errands. So I just picked up the boys some apparel. They needed some, they needed some apparel for the game. So I picked up them a hat and a couple of t-shirts and a t-shirt from myself to save my wardrobe for the Atlanta Braves. And what? It is eight o'clock. So now I've got to take my truck and drive it all the way to Lake Martin, which is about an hour away where Cody's parents live. Um, they live at the lake, so it's about an hour drive there. We're gonna swap vehicles because we're just gonna take a bigger vehicle. Uh, Cody's mom, Deborah, has an Escalade. So since we have a bunch of people going with us, we decided just it'd be easier just to carpool and just swap vehicles because obviously there's extra row of seats versus mine and Cody's truck. So I'm actually gonna drive up there to the lake, swap out my vehicle, let her have my truck for the weekend, and then I'm going to drive the Escalade back home. So that's the game plan now. So really dreading, really dreading that drive. Two hours by myself. So I guess I'll see y'all when I get back. And I am finally back home at a whopping 10.45 p.m. So, I don't think I mentioned it earlier before, but I had plans of shaving and self-tanning because your girl is pasty and I need some color on me and I plan on wearing shorts tomorrow. So, that's actually what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna suck it up and just get in the bathtub and shave head to toe and then I'm gonna put on my favorite self-tanning product. This is the Loving Tan. Um, oh, this is just the same bottle. I'll just have a half empty bottle here and I got a new bottle that I got in the other day in the mail. But I do use the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the color Ultra Dark. So that is my go-to. So that is my go-to. I've been using them for like a really long time. No, it's not sponsored. No, I don't have a discount link, affiliate link. I probably should because I've been using y'all for a freaking long time. But anyways, that's what I'm about to do right now. And that is going to wrap up the night. And I did want to show y'all what I'm doing to cap off my macros for the rest of the evening. I originally planned to make like a protein ice cream. Um, with like some fun toppings and stuff on there. I already kind of like locked it in my, my, my fitness pal, but since it's almost 11 o'clock and I still want to shave and self tan and get ready for bed, I just don't feel like making that and then having to wash even more dishes. So this is where I love these Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurts. Um, pretty high in protein, so it'll help me like meet my protein intake. Zero fat, eight grams of carbs, and 15 of protein. So this will help cap off my macros basically pretty much perfectly except for my protein. I'll be a little short on my protein tonight by like 10 or so points, but that's okay, okay? It is what it is, so we're gonna settle with this. But anyways, that is going to close today's video. I gotta get up super early and get ready to go to the Braves game tomorrow. Woo -woo. Are you excited, Slater? I guess he shouldn't be because he has to stay here by himself tomorrow. He doesn't know that. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.